We pray for the active members, the retired active members, and each and every one that's affiliated to this organization. God, we thank you for the families of the chaplains. We thank you, God, that you allow them to lead in the way that you would have them to lead. We thank you, God, for this day. We ask that you continually shine upon us and give us your grace and your mercy. We love you, we praise you, and we magnify your name. It's in the precious name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. 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 What on, Sister Cuddy? And with that, we'll ask the volunteer, Marcia, would you like to read the Article 41 for us, please? Thank you. Article 41, this is the day that the Lord has made, giving us the guidance to do his work as Joshua's, working continually to support people in time of need, to stand together in solidarity as UAW chaplains founded in our Constitution, Article 41. Amen. 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 And with that, amen. We, amen. With that, we'll introduce our uh, Chaplaincy International Executive Board. We have uh, Bill Eady. Are you on the line with us? All right. Moving on, we'll go Jerry Carson. Thank you, Connie. I want to bring you greetings from President Ray Curry and Vice President Director Chuck Browning and the entire International Executive Board. We want to thank you, chaplains, for all you do in your place of work, in our union, in the community, and with and for your families, being a salt and a light, meeting people where they are, loving on them, and giving them hope, sharing the good news. Hey, I'm, I, I, I'm only going to be very brief, but I'm going to speak again about this, the election. I know we got our midterm elections this coming Tuesday, November the 8th. Make sure everybody gets out and votes. Jesus said faith without works is dead. So we got to be busy. And the one thing I'm always thinking, have you done the work? And I know the chaplains are busy about God's business and doing the work and and getting out and voting to make sure we have people that are in positions in our government that actually are serving and 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 watching over the united states and the, uh, the people hey and then our international executive board elections we got until today is the fourth so what's that uh we got 14 days to get them in the mail you receive your ballot, you send your ballot in. Please encourage everybody as soon as you get it. Um, as of today, we have Region 1, his, uh, the, uh, the monitor's office is reporting that Region 1 has 9,937 ballots. Region 1A has 8,597 ballots. Region 1D has 8,618 ballots. Region 2B has 15,059 ballots. Region 4 has 9,789 ballots. Region 6 has received, the, one, the monitor's office has received 1,090 ballots. And that region will begin in the new year in 2023. Uh, region 8 has 8,000. 946 ballots have been submitted. Region 9, 4,675 ballots have been submitted. Region 9A has submitted 1,706 ballots. And that gives a total of 68,417 ballots. And I'm asking you chaplains, please continue to encourage others to get their ballots. And we're asking God that this number turns into hundreds of thousands of ballots because whenever we vote, we win. So I just, and, and if anyone has not received a ballot, you should have by now. I'm going to give you that number too. The number that you will call to the monitor's office to request your ballot is 855-433-8688. That number is 855-433-8683. And I'm going to turn it back over to Elder, but love you chaplains and thank you for all you do standing in the gap and watching over and, and staying focused on what God has us about his business in our UAW. God bless. Elder. 
Yes, sir. Thank you, uh, Brother Carson. Hey, Brother Jerry, I was wondering uh, with the technology of today and the importance of what's going on, is there any way, Brother Robert, that we can put that number for those who don't have a balance and able to contact the monitor? Can we put that number up on our screen? Because you know we got YouTube where we can do a lot of good. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any way that can happen, it's, Brother Carson? It's, all, it's already out there. It's on UAW.org. It is there. It's I on UAW.org. Uh, but I'm, I'm referring to our telecast. Mm -hmm. I know when uh, he... Well, that's real. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll look at putting something up on 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 the chaplaincy uh, WebEx. I'll look to do that, um, and if I can do it, I will. Yeah, yeah. It's on UAW.org, and you go to UAW.org. At the top, we'll see monitor. You hit the monitor, and then it will take you to the monitors page, and go down, and it says the elections. You click on the elections and then it'll say ballots at the top and you click on that. So okay. it, it does exist right now. So, I, but I, I will I, work to see if I can get that number, but I'm gonna speak to it every time we're on air too, just so you know. Let, let me say this, Brother Carson. Um, I'm not as positive as you are. I'm always remembering the past. And I know the biggest problem, not only in this country, the biggest problem in the world, in the kingdom, is to get people to vote. And any way we can put up to help them, because I'm taking this from a friend of mine's um, brother Joshua. Joshua was so complex because the people wouldn't come out and vote back in the Old Testament. But Bill, this is what he told them. Look here, fellas. Why don't you just choose you this day? Make a choice. Make a choice. But choose. Choose. I see Bill Eady on the call, deferring to Brother Bill. Thank you, Brother Carson. Greetings, chaplains. Once again, it is an honor and a pleasure to be on this chaplaincy conference call. Today, we have been about UAW chaplaincy business. With that being said, uh, we took the time out for this hour of prayer. Uh, I want to bring you greetings from President Ray Curry. Vice President Chuck Browning, and the entire International Executive Board. Chaplains, I just can't say enough for what you do. Standing in the gap for the UAW. What a privilege and honor it is to belong to the UAW Committee. Chaplaincy is also wonderful to have a leader such as Chuck Browning. Yes. Took out of his massive schedule to meet with the leaders of the chaplaincy program as we plan our next annual chaplaincy convention. And with that being said, you know, uh, you know, he was here for us. Yes. He listened and asked, are there any terms of the chaplains and and mind you he will go back and do what he said he's going to do whether that be through myself or whether that be through jerry we're going to make sure that everything that was asked on that chaplaincy call today with vice president browning exec executed and we're going to make it happen um i also just want to say chaplains i'm just so grateful and so thankful for you know your <clears throat> you're, you're, you're we can depend on you. It, it, it is awesome to belong to a group of people that you can depend on. Amen. A group of people, a group of people that find a way to make it happen. 
And that's what you guys do for this membership that we belong to. That's what you do for your communities. That's what you do for your places of worship. But that most importantly, what you do for your families. I often tell uh, folks all the time when I talk about the chaplains, it was just so wonderful to belong to a group of people that are so family oriented, that talk well about their families, that are thankful for their families, know that their families are a blessing. Yes. That is what, when you belong to the family, you know, that th these are the kind of blessings that you would get. You would hear positive, awesome things about men and women of God talking about their families, their spouses, their kids, you know, their, their parents. It's just, it's just a blessing to belong to a group like this. And we, we all know that. I know I'm preaching to the choir, but I just wanted to make sure I put it out there yes. for the young jobs that are listening our podcast and if they want to belong to something that is a positive experience chaplaincy is a committee that you want to direct yourself to and i just want to say i just want to say god bless everybody i thank god for you and i look forward to what god has in store for you the rest of the day god bless you thank you brother bill let me piggyback to brother jerry carson because uh uh, we heard Vice President speak about Jerry, Bill, and he said, uh, I got to do what this man needs done because he ain't going to turn it loose. He said, I'm the same way. I'm not going to turn it loose. I'm going to get this done. And that's a testimony to the leadership of the UAW. And I got to put another plug in to what Brother Carson said, and we got to do more of this UAW.org is a resource. Everything we need is in the house, chaplains. We got to depend on what is ours. UAW.org belongs to the membership. And we can get any resource we want. I thank Sister Connie. I got a hand with Brother Robert. Uh, I'm going to give it Robert in a minute. But Sister Connie just texted me and said she took that number, Jerry, that information about the monitor, and she put it on Facebook. It's running. It's getting done. If we can just reach one person. I had a staff member from the City Union Mission she called me, Bill. She texted me, I'm sorry. And her text was, Pastor Herb, who do my son need to vote for? He asked me to ask you. What a privilege it was for me to text back and tell him my thought on who the hell it is. I don't know if I can say it over here, but y'all know who my thought was. And that's what I told that young man. And Bill, he replies back, how can I get involved with the union? And I thought about what Vice President Brownie said, Sister Harris. I want everybody who, 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 who's not in our training meeting, we getting something done. Because we got the top I'm going to talk like I can talk in the street. We got the top dog saying, I'm out here recruiting Joshua's for chaplaincy. He's telling people about chapter leaders. Man. I thank Jerry Carson. I thank Bill Eady. I thank Vice President Chuck Browning. I thank these guys because they are doing more than just talking the talk. They walk in the walk. Getting it done. And we haven't uh, finished our training, but we have discovered some things. 
Man, I got, I think, Bill, we got about five coordinators that have never participated in a well vest. So in the training, I want the people to hear this. We not through training. Just because we have a title of regional coordinator, a board member, or chairman, we are in training. And this year, there will be no regional coordinator teaching a class because we're going to put them all in training. We got to be able to say the same thing. We got to know what we're saying. We can't be every which way but loose. So uh, for the chaplains that's on this webinar, be assured that we're going to get down and dirty. We want to learn too. We just don't want to get up there and show our face. No. That's some ballot information that came up. Uh, everybody see that? that? Jerry Carson, you do that? Talk to us, Jerry. Come off of mute. I got Jerry on mute. He's working. But everybody see this? Yeah, Go down. I put the, can everybody see it? Yes, sir. I muddled my way through it to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> the old man. God is good. You got it. <laughs> yeah. And Brother Shawanda's trying to do it too, but yeah, do, can everybody see that? Yes, sir. Okay. I just want to make sure. Yeah, we out Thank there. You. We are out there. Voter registration is out there. Uh, the country is uh, depending on us, the middle class, is depending on us to get out there and take care of this thing. Because if we slip, see, Brother Herb ain't always been amazing grace, how sweet the sound, rock of ages, clip for me. Brother Herb ain't all, well, always been like that. Brother Herb remember them days when he was out there hanging out and they would say, slip sliding, you know what? Slip sliding away. Slip slide in a way. The more you near your destination, the more you slip slide in. I said, No, what are you telling me? I'm at the club and you're talking about slip slide in a way. The more you near your destination. Just as we think we have arrived. Yes, when we think we have made it, the more we near our destination, the more we slip slide away. Brother Robert Ghost. Uh, I'm going to, uh, Jerry, it was a question for Jerry. Um, and I guess it, I, I just needed some clarity on it before I talked to this, one of my coworkers. They received two ballots. They need to call the monitor's office and, and explain to them that they that they inadvertently in error sent them two ballots. But they need to make sure they get with the monitor, and then the monitor office will give them direction. All right. And before before you go to Randall, there was a Tracy who had her hand up. Okay, Sister Tracy. Whoever Tracy. She's out of Region Four. Sister Tracy. Okay, Thank come you. on, brother Hello, Randall. With the, okay, Can you Tracy. Hear me? We hear you, Tracy. Good morning. I'm, a, I'm good morning. I'm gonna make it real quick from the local 79 here in uh John Deere. Uh we only have two people sitting with us today, me and another young lady, Dana, um, who is a she is a Joshua. She hasn't been to any meetings yet, but she will be on the agenda to come the next time uh we get together. I just wanted to say that I'm just so blessed today, even though uh, we're under attack. 
and it seems like our whole our whole chaplaincy has been under attack. This has been one thing after another. Um, we have one young lady who her son is in the hospital now, has gone back to the hospital again, who was in a serious car accident, broke his leg and um, almost lost his leg. Our chaplaincy uh, leader, Luis Sanchez, he's under attack. He's, he's not here today. He usually has the meeting. Me as his assistant, I decided to take to not um, forbid this hour, but to take advantage of this hour to at least get on a call with you guys to ask you guys just to lift the local 79 up. Uh, there's just a lot of things going on. It seems like every time someone comes in here to pray, they get under attack. And I just come against the devil today to say, then I'm still going to stand for the local 79. I'm still going to stand for the UAW. I'm still going to stand for Christ. I'm still going to be in the fight. I'm still going to pray. I'm still going to lift these people up. I'm still going to pray for our management. I'm still going to pray for our coworkers. I'm still going to pray. I'm still going to do it until I can't do it no more. But I just need your guys' prayers today. I just want to let you guys know that we are under attack. And we just need you guys more than ever. Uh, a couple of other Joshua's that haven't been to a conference yet are under attack. Uh, we have one guy who has um, PSD. What is it called? PS PTSD. PTSD um, has been under attack. Has been a little bit down. You know, um, we've had we had one member uh, whose brother was um, was almost killed. Uh, is a police officer was almost killed by a, a deranged person. Um, who had his skull fractured and is in the hospital. We're praying for him today. Um, in the Quad City areas, we had a young man just the other day, 24 years old, took his life and his child's life, a one-year-old baby, wow. stabbed the child and then stabbed himself. We're under attack and we need prayer. Okay, so, but young it's lady. good to see all your faces. Yes, ma'am. Let, let, me, let me handle this one. Um, Bill Eady and Jerry Carson, you own the International Web Act, so I feel comfortable with what I'm about to tell you. When we go to do good, this is scripture. Evil is always evil. Always present. It's always present, sister. Always. But we have a safe God in prayer. I want you and your friend, this Joshua. See, we've been talking about the locals. And we finna come and get y'all. We're going to come and get you. Amen. But I need you to say this, and I need your friend to say this. I believe. God. Can you I say believe this? God. Say it again. Yes. I believe say, God. I believe God. Say it again. I believe God. I know you believe. I believe God. I know you believe him. I know you believe him. I know you believe. You will not be on this webex if you mm -hmm. did not believe God. You will not be sitting here giving up a 30 minute or hour lunch break if you did not believe God. You are around it now by a group of prayer warriors in accessory prayer. We don't need you to tell us nothing else because we believe God. And before I turn you loose, uh, Sister Shirley Devonport, Region 1A, could you pray for these two young ladies? When we come to you right now on behalf of Local 79, Lord Jesus, we asking that you will manifest your power in that local father as never before, Father. And it's not too hard for you to do that. You said it's according to our faith. Be it unto us, mm -hmm. God. And right. if our faith is weak, Father, we ask that you increase Amen. in the mind of Jesus. Father, we're standing on your everything else is sinking sand. Father, but your word will never pass away. And Father, we thank you. For you said all that live godly will suffer persecution. 
Father, but you mm. will deliver us out of them all. And Heavenly Father, we thank you in advance right now for delivering mm -hmm. Local 79 in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for letting them be that light, Father, that light in the midst of darkness, Father, that will draw others, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we know that nobody else can get the glory when you do it except for you. And Father, we thank you for strengthening them right now in the name of Jesus. Continue to cover them, Father, as they go before your people, Father, that need you in the name of Jesus. Father, you said to cry aloud and spare not. They're crying aloud, Father, and they're not yes. making anything, yes. God. But we ask that you would continue to cover them, Lord, and let them know, Father, that they can look to you because you are their help. You are their strength, Father. When they look around and all they see is the enemy, Father. But when they take another look, God, yes. they will see you covering them in the name Ooh. of Jesus. And, Father, mm -hmm. we thank you. We thank you for them standing in the gap for your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you the glory, we give you the honor, and we give you the praise, Father, as if it's already done. And we thank you for it, Jesus. We praise yes. your name, and we lift you up and give you honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We are, we Amen. are born, we Amen. are born in the spirit. We are mm -hmm. worn in the spirit, <laughs> and you. we don't Thank have you. time. I want to recognize uh, Brother Randall for bringing these ladies to us. Uh, Renell Glenn, Renell Glenn, mm -hmm. Renell Glenn, are you with me this morning? I am. Good afternoon, uh, Chaplain. Renell Glenn, we are worn in the spirit. Come yeah. on here for these Hallelujah. two young ladies. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank you, Lord, that you have lifted up a standard when the enemy comes in like a flood. We don't not only believe in you, but we trust you, God, that your word is true and will not return void. I thank you, God, that you cover us, God, with your blood. <laughs> I thank you, God, that you cover us with your blood. I thank you, God, that you are a strong tower and you're mighty of the pulling, off, pulling down, pulling down of the strongholds, Father. And so this afternoon, this day that you have given us, Father, we are thanking you for your covering. We're thanking you for your love. We thank you, God, that we are your sons and daughters, God, and you are protecting us. You have kept us, God. We thank you, Lord, for your word that we have hid it in our heart for such a time as this, God. Yes, we know that the enemy is going to come in and it's going to attack us, God, but we know that there's a stronger than the strong man that is yes. in the house, Father. Uh, we thank you, God, that we know you, God. We thank you that we are, uh, we we have the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of faith, and our feet are standing steadfast with the preparation of shy. We are here, God, standing in the gap for your people, God, the ones that believe and the ones that don't believe, Father. It is you, God, that we look to for the answer. It is you, God, that we look to this for the sustainer. And it is you, God, that we believe and we trust, God. It is under the art. Article 41, God, that we come as chaplains, God, and it shall be our duty to render aid, God, not only to, hallelujah, the members, Father, but also, God, to our brothers and sisters, our neighbors, God, and wherever we shall go, that your feet land us, that your feet lead us, God, Father. Father. So we thank you, God, that we have a mind that's made up to serve you. We got a mind made up to spread your word and your love. And we have a mind made up to serve this beautiful union, God. I thank you for each brother and sister that's on here that's fearfully and wonderfully made and uniquely with a territory that you've given to them to serve this UAW. I thank you, God that we are here, God. We are ready, God, and we are we are waiting for the Holy Spirit, God, to guide us into all truths, into what we are to do for you, God. There is nothing that's too hard, nothing is impossible, and we're going forth, God, <laughs> with you, God. All these things we ask in your mighty master's name, Jesus, amen. 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 Brother, Brother Her, point of um, order, I wanted to um, answer a question that came before here on the ballots. Yes. And getting two ballots. Is that okay? Yes, please. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to read the answer for that to you. You must be receiving, you may be receiving more than one ballot for the 2022 UAW International Office elections because one, your local union submitted more than one membership record to the international union on your behalf, or two, your membership record is associated with multiple addresses. If you receive more than one ballot, you must only return one voted ballot. 
your membership record has been coded by the election vendor as a potential duplicate record for uh, especially for special handling due to your potential duplicate membership uh, records. If more than one ballot is returned, only one will be counted. Any other ballot received from uh, you will be marked void and will not be counted. Okay, let me just for the record, uh, let everyone know the voice you just heard that from is out of the International Union PR department. And uh, she quite involved in what's going on. Um, we must be able to believe God and uh, confirmation has been given to these two young ladies, but it's not just these two young ladies. We have work to do. And when we come on this WebEx, we have to be flexible. We have to be able to understand where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. There are people on this WebEx today that need to be set free. The only reason you need to be set free is that you are bound. The strong man is buying, trying to bind you up. But the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imagination. And get this, sisters, and anything that exalts itself above God years ago. When this thing was created, Satan, Lucifer, thought he could exalt himself above God. God kicked him out of heaven, and one-third of the angels went with him. That's why we got a scripture that tells us that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. That's another young lady. Bring her in. Bring her in. Bring her in. We 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 warn in the spirit. That's look like a brother. Introduce yourself. We moving. Come off a of mute. Yes. Introduce yourself. Oh, my name is Thompson. I'm from Africa. This is our yes, African sir. brother. He just joined up. This is another Joshua. Come on, come on. Let's celebrate what God <laughs> is doing. We spoke on this last week. We're going to go and reach and find these guys and yep, girls. Yep. We're going in the locals. Yes. Ain't no more trying. Ain't no more. Ain't no more games. We are committed because God said, if you ask anything according to my name, the brother said he's from Africa. That's where I'm from. That's where my people from. The mother country. We welcome you. Talk to me. Talk to me. How you do? How home folks? How the home folks doing? Oh, they are they're all doing good. <laughs> yeah, they speak up. <laughs> they're all doing good. They all doing good. How you Praise doing? God. I'm doing good also. Working okay, so hard to make it okay. Yeah, oh, keep talking to me. What you want to say? I said I'm working so hard to make my family happy and make my kids proud of me. Man, you preaching. Anybody, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Wait a minute, this brother from Africa come up on this well back dropping dimes on us. Can y'all see this dollar <laughs> bill? Man, I wish I could send it to you because you just broke a word. <laughs> Bill Eady, Bill Eady. Where is Bill Eady? 
Elder Taylor, I am on the call. I just happen to be in, in, in my car at this point in time. I am listening to the dimes that are being dropped. <laughs> what a blessing. I mean, we 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 have we prayed long and hard for Region 9A to, to evolve and, and, and to see young Joshua's joining from Region 9A, it does nothing but 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 imprick our heart. Hold on, brother and, and, Bill. And, and, Hold on, Bill. It fills our soul. Hey, brother oh, Bill. Yeah. Bill, yeah. let yeah. me Eastern interrupt. Four. This is yeah. region oh. four. He's from four. Oh, excuse he's, me. I thought it was from region nine. Okay. No, no. From region four. That's a that, that's a blessing also. Any region that we get some young Joshua's, we just so mm -hmm. happy and, and, and so and so grateful. That's fantastic. Uh, where where are you at in Region Four? What what local are you out of? We're local seventy nine. We work for John Deere. John Deere, fantastic. We're, John, fantastic. we're located I, at the I, John Deere warehouse. I, I heard the sister that said that uh, folks in at local seventy nine is under attack. You you yeah. come to the right. You come to the right place for that, sister. You got prayer warriors here that will be praying for UAW local seventy nine hard. Thanks. You know, we need it. To, we to need it so that you guys get a covering over yourself, and 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 we just so grateful and so thankful for you you taking the time to to be an thank accessory you. for your local. Thank you, thank you, yes. thank you. Thank God you. God bless you. Thank you. God, God bless, bless you as well. Now, now I know you know your the lineup go like this, sisters. So you and the brother know. Uh. You got your local union, you got your region, and then you have your international. Your chaplaincy regional coordinator is Randall Willis. Rain, and rain. at this time, Randall, if you yeah. can render a prayer to this group before I turn it over to Carson. Randall, yes, sir. if you can render... Cause, Cause, these are your babies, Randall. Yes, they are. Yes, sir. They are your babies. Yes, sir. And we, we, we are going to support them. We are going to cover them. Yes, sir. Uh, and the brother, um, uh, man, you know what? This is the, <laughs> the desire of every man to take care of his family. Amen. See, this brother, this brother said he is working hard to take care of his family. Yes. My God. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. why I sent that $5 on the yeah. table, man. You ain't gonna <laughs> get it, but you know, we can pretend. We, we can. I, <laughs> hey brother, I work hard too. I need all of mine. But uh, Randall, yeah. say a prayer yeah. for this group. Yes, sir. That's local. Yes, sir. Randall Willis. Most great heavenly father. God, we thank you for today. God, we thank you for uh, Local 79, God, we know that you have your hand on them, God. As Elder Herb said, God, when 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 the enemy, when you're doing good, the enemy's yeah. always present, God. And God, we know they're doing good, God. We, we ask you to keep your hand of protection on them, God. We plead the blood of Jesus, God, right now to cover them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. However it is, whatever it is you need them to do, God, we ask you to give them the strength to go forward, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way in their lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank God. Amen. Now let's do this. Amen. Let's Amen. do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Brother, my brother, uh, what's your name? My name? Yeah. Thompson. 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 Brother Thompson. Yeah. We need you to say a prayer for us. All you right. coming from where it all started, brother. The anointing on your life, you can't even imagine. That's why these young ladies hanging out with you, man. They see the brother in you. They see the man in you. Come on. They sure say, do. We sure do. Say, say a prayer we sure for do. us. Say a we, prayer call for him, us. we call him Baba C, but he's going to be proper. But we call him Baba C before he prays. All right. Go on, pray, yeah. brother. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Lord, for today. 
thank you Lord, for the gathering oh lord oh i don't really know what to say but god lead me through i thank you lord for everything thank you lord for our family thank you lord for the work we do thank you lord for everything lord we are not perfect we are all sinner we sin every minute every second father please forgive us everything we mm -hmm. all are expecting father please provide and make a rule for us make everything easy for us so guide us and make us have a blessed week weekend point name of prayer amen amen, amen. amen. hallelujah let's celebrate the hallelujah. victory this has yeah. been a victory for the lord let's celebrate the victory and before i have a, um uh, jerry carson uh, Sister Sandra, you got to sing Amazing Grace right now because it's been it's amazing what God is doing here right now. He's going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh. Come on, Sandra, real quick, we moving, we moving. Amazing grace. How Sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost. Mm. But now I'm found was blind, but now I see. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Brother Jerry Thank you, Elder. Thank you, Elder. What a powerful time we've had together and God has brought us together, iron sharp and iron. And these young Joshua's that's joined us from local 79 out of region four and each one of you, there's many parts, but one body. And God is the way maker and Please, I don't, it, we, we will be under attack. The civil rights movement, the labor movement, and kingdom building. And Jesus told us the harvest is much, labors are few. But we got to turn it over to him because to him, once we turn it over to him, we see the miracles. And each one of you can speak to the miracle that you are, every one of you our miracles and you've been brought into our union the uaw and i ask for every one of you to continue to just pray for one another just and i know i'm saying this and i know you're already doing it but put article 41 section 2 in your heart it shall be the duty of each member to render aid and assistance to brother or sister members in case of illness death and distress and in every way acquit her or himself as a loyal devoted member of this international union that god put that in our uaw constitution familiarize yourself with it and god tells us about his word we put it in our hearts. It becomes part of us. And please do that. Please do that. And thank you for, for answering God's calling on your lives. God's kingdom is being enlarged. The civil rights movement and the labor movement are better whenever we're all there for one another. 
An injustice to one is injustice to all. We've heard that, and that is the truth. The, I'm, uh, I'm getting ready to, uh, I'm going to turn it back over to Elder, and I know that we have a pastor that's come on and joined us with Angela Bantam, and we thank you for, uh, for what you do, Kingdom Building also. I'm going to come downstairs and get to meet you also in person, but uh, Thank you, you get Jerry. to see the good works that are being done. This is God. This is God. And, and, and Pastor, Elder refers to us as the Levites. We've been set aside, and I believe that. We have been set aside to serve him. I'm going to turn it over to you, Elder. Okay, I'm going to leave it right here because this has been a divine appointment for us. And Angela Benton, is she on the line? Is she on the call? Yes, I am. Angela, introduce the pastor because God will give us pastors according to his own heart that would feed us with understanding and knowledge. Uh, we appreciate you, Angela. Introduce yourself and let us hear from the pastor. Okay, yes. Um, good afternoon, everyone. And I'm Angela Bannon, I'm in the Social Security Department. Um, I am on here and I'm in my office right now and I'm with my pastor, uh, Pastor Sam Knowlton Jr. Um, of Greater Bethesda Life Church. And okay, I see you, Sandra. <laughs> and I just want to um, just want to let you guys know, I appreciate everything that you do every week and you are a blessing to the um to the body of the organization. So um, can you see my pastor? I see your pastor. Yes, we see him. How are you? How are you? God bless you. Bless you, bless you. I would like pastor. to say this. Yeah. I would like to say greetings to you all. I don't know sure how many people are there, but I do want to say God's blessings over you for what you do. Most people don't understand the power and the authority and the responsibility mm. of being a chaplain. But I work as the chaplain for the fire department in Detroit, as well as the Wayne County Sheriff Department. Our services are much needed, even in silence. We don't have to go to their jobs and lay hands That's on right. them and bring a big That's Bible. Right. That's what right. we can That's do is intercede, which means to intercept. When you intercept, you prevent the work of the enemy and the power of darkness. So I want to encourage you all to keep doing what you're doing. God is listening. Remember this, and I'm all done. God does not reward you because they get it. God rewards you because you did it. It's your obedience that unlocks the things of God. It's not yes, them sir. getting it. One yes. plaintiff, another waters, but God gives the increase. So you all be encouraged. Don't worry about who's not listening and who's not responding. The Heavenly Father, your, your Heavenly Father hears everything you say. He even knows your thoughts, even as you think them. So be encouraged. Carry on. You're doing a great work, Nehemiah. Don't come down. Yes. Don't come down. God bless you. Hey, you're not through. Come on, come on. You got five more minutes. Not, I, 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 come on, come on, come on. Come on with it. No, no, come on. We love come you. On. God bless. Hey, Listen, I'll um, say this to you. I'll, yes, I'll say this. I'll say this. There's a scripture that we often read, but we we I think we read it so often just because it's just it's a reasonable scripture. It's easy. Everybody know it. And the scripture is 23rd Psalms. And I'd like to take the first three words. The first three words is the Lord is. If we can find out who and identify the power and the authority of the Lord and what Lord means, that means that I will provide for you. I will protect you. That I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. The Lord is my shepherd. What is a shepherd? A shepherd protects. A shepherd provides. I shall not want. What do you want? I only want the things of God. So I, again, I'm finished. I can't be preaching in here. I'm just trying to <laughs> tear this office up. Y'all got the Holy Ghost, so I act up sometimes. So thank you all for having me. I amen, bless you all amen. I bless you. I, be, I bless each one of you and the ministries you represent in your homes and in your particular businesses. God bless you and we love you. Marsha, say a blessing to the pastor and sister thank Angela. Marsha, please. Come off a mute, Marsha. Yes. Truly, Lord, we do thank you so much for this divine. We thank you this is your plan, your divine plan. We thank you that you have ordered our steps that you have declared the end from the beginning. But as well, Lord God, you are showing us that how one may be over here, one may be over there, Lord God, you are bringing the remnant together and unifying us and fortifying us, Lord God. Teach our hands to war, our fingers to fight, 
that we would do more and great, great and mighty exploits. Jesus, you declared that verily, verily, I say unto you, that the works that I have done, you shall do also. And greater works than these you shall do because I've gone to my father. Now it's time for us to do the greater works because there are great situations going on and the people need the response and the power and the influence of God to help elevate us at this time and hour. And as though this brother came with a little bit of time, Lord God, give him the two fishes and five loaves that now he will feed the multitudes with the word of God because that they will open their mouth wide and you will fill them. You will give him the finest of the wheat, the wine, and the oil in Jesus' name. And my sister do too for her bringing him on board like Andrew wouldn't got one that we will all continue to go get others because there is plenty good room in the kingdom. The harvest is plenteous and the labors are few. Blessed be the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We, go, we, we are not going to hold you any longer. I just need everybody to quiet their spirit for a moment. God is truly pleased with what just took place today. We could not have planned this with a program. We could not have planned what God brought to us today. So we're going to end this call. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable unto God. For he and our Redeemer, no day can be too long, no demands of your time too great, no effort too hard. No case too pitiful. It is our duty to render aid and assistance to our brothers and sister members in cases of illness, death, and distress. God, thank you for allowing us to serve. Everybody have a blessed